Nathalie Doremio here from WPHelpClub.com and I am so excited to be doing this short presentation of Webinar Ally for you today. So what is Webinar Ally? It's basically the next product from Ambition Ally and it's going to revolutionize the way we do webinars online. Basically, it allows you under five minutes to add a webinar to any WordPress page. So it really takes out the overwhelm and all the technical elements of creating a webinar with Google Hangout and grabbing code and copy pasting stuff. It's really one link that you share for the webinar, for the replay, for everything. So it makes it super easy, no more excuses for people that have been waiting to do webinars because of the tech stuff. So let me show you the inside because I've had several people ask me, but you say under five minutes, but what does it really look like? So let me show you exactly what it is and how easy that is. So the way you install Webinar Ally is basically, it's basically a plugin. So you go to plugins, add new and install the plugin. So you choose the file from your computer that you've downloaded and then you install the plugin. Once you install the plugin, it adds this Webinar Ally element here on your left menu and you will need to go to license to enter your license uh, email and ID, okay? And once you've done that, you wanna go to setup and set up your time zone. And that's really the only thing that you need to set up here. But make sure that is correct because from that is going to depend if your webinar starts on time or not, okay? So you need to be really sure that this date and time represents your local date and time, okay? So if that is good, then you're all good to go and then you click save changes. So once you've done that, you're ready to add a webinar into a page. So, so I have already created a WordPress page that I call Test Webinar Ally that is completely empty. Okay, it has nothing in it. So what Webinar Ally does, it, it adds this section, Webinar Settings, at the bottom. And that's where you basically enable the webinar functionality. So you could totally have like some copy here, some images, whatever, on your, on your page. And then when you want to add a webinar at a particular location, you just click enable webinar. You pick the date. So let's say tomorrow, um, 2 p.m. Okay. And this start the webinar will be where we come back when we want to start the webinar. So this title here is going to be the title that shows up in the Hangout and on YouTube if you decided to share this webinar. Okay, so I'm just gonna leave it like that now. And once you've done that, you just click update. And now we're ready to actually add the webinar onto the page. So webinar creates this button, webinar ally here with two short codes. The first short code that you might wanna use is this one, webinar local time and you just click on insert the code and it's going to replace that with the date and time that is local to people. So you can say your webinar will start on <clears throat> and it will, be this, it will be displaying the date and time for them. And then I'm gonna click on webinar again and this time I'm gonna add the actual webinar, okay? And I'm just going to save, update. And then we're gonna take a look at what the page looks like. So I'm gonna go view page. And this is the webinar. So you see for me, it says it's October 21st at 2 p.m. But for you, it will probably say something else, right? So this color black and this font here can totally be customized from the webinar settings. So if you go to styling, this is where you can actually change the color. So I can maybe put um, um, something like that, save and refresh. And I have more of a light gray area, right? So you can change it to um, your brand color to whatever you want. You can also change that font name if you have that font available on your website. So what this means is now I have this link that I can start sharing with people. Everybody that has signed up to my webinar can basically go visit that page and they will it will tell them when it starts, right? So 
this is the URL that you will use for people to watch the webinar and people to watch the replay. So now how do you start the webinar? So let me show you what happens the first time that you do that. So we're going to go back on the edit page, on the on the edited page here, yeah. And we're going to go into the start webinar section and I'm going to click on start webinar. Start. So it's going to ask me probably a couple of questions. So you're on a Google on air. Okay, so you have to agree. You click OK, got it. So now if you're using several uh, Google accounts, you can totally switch. So you can click on this switch account here and you'll get to see all the Gmail accounts, you know, that, that, that you have access to and uh, select which one you want. So I'm just going to pick this one because I think that's the one I want to use for this demo. So, and then I'm going to say, okay, I got it. Now I'm going to click on join. And at this point, my webinar is not live yet, okay? You, so, you saw it's written off air. So here you can invite more people. I'm just going to click start Googling out on air. And then here you see Ambition Align needs your permission to start. So I'm going to click on continue here. And I'm going to link to Ambition Align. So I'm going to allow access. And now, as you can see on the right, I have the Ambition Ally sidebar. Okay. And when I am ready, to start the webinar, you don't want to start broadcast here at the bottom, right? That is the standard way to do it with Google Hangout. You want to start it from here, from Ambition Ally, okay? So this webinar, is, it tells you that this webinar is created as a public event on your YouTube by default, but you can change the privacy settings here, right? So if you click here, then you can change the privacy. I'm not going to go there, but that's basically the idea. Let me go back to the Hangout. And I'm basically ready to make it live. So once I make it live, the webinar starts. I do my webinar. When I'm done, I hang up the webinar. And then a couple of minutes later, the replay will be automatically available right on the same page. So you basically have to deal with only one URL, which is that URL. It's the same URL for people to watch the webinar and watch the replay. So it makes it super easy for you to communicate about your webinar. So I hope you enjoyed this presentation. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to leave a comment below this video. There is also a link where you can find out more about Webinar Ally and if this is for you. And I will see you next time.